Today, I'm with Robin from TLR Coaching, who is using Pictory in her business. Thank you very much for joining us, Robin. Thank you for having me. I would be really interested if you could tell people how you're using Pictory as part of your business, please. Great. I love Pictory. I use it for my content marketing to draw eyes onto TLR coaching and what we're doing, but I absolutely love it. I not only post to YouTube, but I post to various social media platforms, LinkedIn, Pinterest, you name it, and I'm posting to it. I have a few that I love, love, love. But my background is basically accounting, so I don't consider myself a creative person. But with Pictory, I feel like I can do it all now. I am an awesome creator because I have Pictory behind me making me look really good like I know what I'm doing. I'm just saying. So for those of you who are not really creative or want some help, Pictory is for you. Now, as a life coach and a teacher and a trainer, People learn differently. And what I love about Pictory, it has captions. So those people who are visually impaired can read it possibly, or those people who are sneaking doing something at work, they can read it and not worry about their bosses catching up. I'm just saying, you didn't hear that from me though, okay? That's a wonderful endorsement. Perhaps you can just tell us about your workflow, how you fit Pictory into your content marketing business as usual type operations. What I use Pictory for, I use Pictory to produce long content as well as short content. My short content is usually centered around a theme for the month, all about leadership, all about empowering people and encouraging them to do better. My long content goes into a little bit more depth about whatever the subject is, particularly around leadership and coaching and helping people move forward. So Pictory is good for that, for short content as well as long content. So I mix them up depending on what month it is and depending on what I'm doing. So which features of the product do you use most? Oh my gosh. I always use captions, pretty much. I use the music component because when I put my content in, Pictory helps me select the music that goes along with it. And I never get any issues with with music being striped, there's never any issues about I'm using someone else's music. None of that copyright issues happen with Pictory. So I use it that way as well. In a typical application then, what kind of written content are you turning into a Pictory video? What would be a, a typical example? Um, an example, right now it's back to school month. So on Saturdays, I have what I call shout out Saturdays. So I will shout out use Pictory to create a shout out to all of our educational leaders. And then in different social media platforms, I'll tag different ins educational institutes for that. So that's what I, that's an example of what I use it. Tuesday is my tip Tuesday. So I'll create a little short about a tip for kids, like how to prepare for school the previous day and give them a short little tip about that. Or it could be wellness Wednesday. What are you eating at school? How to eat right and how to keep it going and maintain your health and things like that while we're in school. So yeah, it's all kinds of stuff. So these are typically short videos of a minute or so, would you say? 60 seconds or less. I do a lot of shorts. And then when I'm doing my marketing for my coaching, that's when I infuse the long videos because people want to know more about leadership and whatever point I'm driving home that particular time. Yes. So what sort of length of video would you use for those longer ones? I've used up to three minutes long. I've used a 15 minute long version, but mainly up to like three minutes because people's attention span are not really that, don't want to see something that long. So I'll take that long content that I've created in Pictory, then I'll use that same information and break it up into shorts. And have you noticed any tangible results yet since you started doing this? Oh boy, have I. Uh, I, I'm a numbers person, but I don't really track everything, but I had a comment or I was excited. Should I say I had a comment on the video? They liked it and loved it. However, one of my shorts within an hour, I probably had 400 views on one of the social media platforms. So that's pretty good for eyes on our little short video that I created that didn't take me much time or effort to create. So, so five, 400 people were able to look at that and get encouraged from that. So yeah, I've seen some good results from it. Before you use Pictory, how were you creating the videos for your business? 
Oh my gosh. It would take me forever to try to create videos doing using other platforms. It just wasn't very user friendly at all. And because I'm not necessarily a creative person, it was very hard. And so I was only able to post maybe one or two videos a week because it would just take so, so long to post those videos. And then it looked nearly as good. It looked like my granddaughter cut and paste those, okay? It did look good, but hey, I put them out there. Something's better than nothing, right? How many videos do you think you're putting out a week now compared to what you used to be able to produce? I'm doing, I post something every day. I upload something every day to probably four or five platforms. Before I was doing, my goal was three times a week. So now it's seven days. Every day I'm uploading and I'm posting something because of picturing. Well, that's a significant increase in the content that you're making. What would you say, Robin, if you met someone who'd not to use picture before for their business? What would I say to them? Y'all better use it if you want your business to grow. Out. <laughs> it's easy to use. You feel empowered. You can help so many people by using picturing. Why not? It's it's the best thing I think Seth slides bread, so they say. Well, I say. <laughs> well, those are very kind words, and I thank you so much for spending time with me and helping us get the message out to other businesses. Thank you for having me.